If you've ever taken a photo on a green screen, then this is for you. We'll go over the solutions to common problems, like green light reflecting on your subject. We'll start off with a typical green screen photo, and then you'll remove the background, and then we'll learn some powerful techniques for removing this green fringing around her hair. Let's get started. We'll start off by selecting the green screen behind her so that we can remove her from it. And Affinity Photo has a great tool for selecting solid colors like this, and it's the Flood Select tool. So let's go ahead and select that. We'll make sure our tolerance is set to 20%, and let's go ahead and uncheck Contiguous for this photo. So now I can just press anywhere on the screen where there's green, and we have the green screen selected. But in this photo, I want the girl to be selected. So I'm going to invert this selection. So go ahead and press Command or Control Shift I. And now we have the girl selected. With her selected, let's go ahead and refine our selection up in the context toolbar. So now we can go ahead and paint around the edges of her hair to tell Affinity to take a second look at those parts. So I'll just zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to increase my brush size using the bracket keys. And now I can begin painting. All right, with that done, we can go ahead and press apply. Now I'm going to press the mask icon to get rid of this green background. And we can go ahead and deselect. So press Command or Control D to do that. And now we have a transparent background. So I'm going to put a white background behind her by selecting the rectangle tool. And then we can click and drag a new background. It automatically placed the background on top of the layer, so I'm going to drag it down to the bottom of the layer stack so that we can see the girl again. So right now, it looks like we still have part of the green screen showing, as you can see around the edges of her hair. To double check this, we can hold down Alter Option and then click on the mask layer icon. So we can see that we have very fine details of her hair selected, even individual strands. So it doesn't seem like that's the problem. A lot of times with green screens, green light will reflect on your subject. So this green fringing can be a little tricky to manage, but we have three different techniques that we're gonna talk about today that can help you to remove the green from her hair and her clothing. So let's get started by adding an HSL adjustment. With our HSL adjustment, we have master colors, which will affect all the colors in the image, but you can select just the green channel right here, and this will affect only the green parts of the image. So with the green channel selected, I can go ahead and desaturate the green channel to get rid of some of the greens in the image. And you can see that this did a pretty good job but there's still some green in the photo. So we have a couple more techniques that we can use to get rid of this extra green fringing. So let's go down to the adjustment studio and let's hit HSL adjustment one more time. This time, we're going to use the picker feature on this adjustment to select the green color that's surrounding her hair. So press picker and then you can select any part of the green in her hair. Great, now with that selected, you can actually change the hue shift slider to get some more brown in her hair instead of green. So I'm just going to move it to about 30. And that color is almost there. I'm just gonna bring the saturation down a little bit. All right, that looks so much better. If we select each of these layers, you can see the before with the fringing and here it is with our HSL adjustments. I think it's looking great. 
But there still are some areas where we can see green. We definitely don't want to see green and let people know this was a green screen. So drastic times call for drastic measures. We're going to actually paint on parts of her hair to remove this green. So first, we need a layer to paint on. So I'm going to come and add a new pixel layer. Now for this pixel layer, I want to make sure that my paint only appears where the girl is, not on her white background. So with the magic of child layers, <laughs> I'm going to click and drag this down into the right of our mask layer. So now where our mask is, that's the only part that our pixel layer will be allowed to paint on. So to get started with painting, I'm first going to select my brush tool by pressing B. I'm going to make sure that our hardness is set to 0%. And now I'm going to sample a color from the girl's hair to make sure that we're using an exact shade that you could naturally find in her hair. So I'm going to go to my colors panel and I'm going to use the color picker tool to select one of the lighter colors in her hair. So click and drag with the color picker, find a light color, and then you can press on the color in the color picker. And now we can start painting. But before we start painting, we need to change the blend mode of this pixel layer. If we just start painting right away, it's gonna be very obvious where we're painting. But when you set the blend mode to color, it will only affect the colors in the image, keeping that hair texture there. So when you start off painting, just make sure you don't paint too much over her hair. We don't wanna to lose too much of her natural hair color. So just paint where you see green. And I'll go ahead and speed this up for you. <laughs> To see a before and after of our painting, I'll go ahead and turn this on and off. And while it's subtle, it's definitely made a difference. And if you wanna see a before of all of the work that we've done, you can hold down Command or Control and select the HSL adjustments, and then you can turn them off to see before when we had that green fringing. And here it is after with all of our adjustments. Removing green fringing can be really tricky sometimes, but with these three techniques, you'll have it done in no time. If you want to learn another way to really improve your portrait photography, you can check out this video on the best way to sharpen your portraits. It's just a way to add a little bit of sharpness to your images and really make them stand out. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.